What's up, my single chats and toxic gamers? Oh, man, get ready for this one. Clench your butt cheeks. And I'm not sure whether you should, like, whether should I tell you to stop rolling your fat doobies or not. Because, yeah. uh, or maybe roll them because apparently they found new cheats. That's right. Remember, this swag doesn't know what a radar hack is. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Shout out to the homie Call of Shame. Check this uh, out. I Roll opened it. an investigation into Galax. He is a content creator that has tried repeatedly to join the FaZe Clan. Damn, we got a new suspect. While investigating his gameplay, I came across some footage that exposed his wall hacks, reflecting back onto his glasses. Watch now as the rat turns his head to look at another monitor and almost- If you kn if you have watched the last video, apparently new cheats are discovered and apparently some CSGO players were cheating while having smart glasses and they have built-in cheats in them. Oh, shit. Hey, hey. Now he is facing his other monitor. Take a look at the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> Could we be witnessing walls? Is this a reflection of an? Yeah, what if he was looking at his KFC chicken nugget supply? Though? Enemy running through the wall, highlighted in blue. Let's slow it down. Dead right ass? there, this looks exactly like the wall hacks we have demonstrated already on this channel. And yet, the reflection is only there when he looks at his second monitor. Make no mistake, these are wall hacks, and you better believe it. I presented the evidence to the community and nobody really cared. They claimed it was, quote unquote, reaching for content. Meanwhile, another streamer has been caught with wall hacks by a reflection on his glasses. Okay, so yeah, okay, he's not saying that the, the cheats are in his glasses, but it's more like a reflection though. I mean, damn, bro. If you think it's gonna cheat, like, like don't wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, but, but it's not conclusive but i get the argument that he's making or maybe we're gonna see actual wall hack appear in his reflection let's see this video is a counter-strike pro player who has been caught cheating here they are side by side it's a oh no oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh no okay that uh, i mean I'm thinking that he was yeah like that's the wall hack so he was saying seeing that that red thing maybe that's what he's referring to but it could be like maybe a chicken nugget right or something like that no, <laughs> Bruh. It, it is hella suspect obviously I'm kind of joking around but I wouldn't say like a hundred percent concrete just yet okay dead match Galax was fuming when I called this out you're literally your whole channel it's talking about streamers that are quote-unquote cheating that is the only reason why you even get any views like this kid is literally a nobody what yo biden gotta cut this man chicken nugget supply right now okay <laughs> come on man how dare you say that to call of shame bro how dare you say that to call call of shame is a nasa employee that knows what's going on in area 51 guys <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Like he told me not to leak this information, but I'm doing it. He's a NASA employee. He knows way more than the amount of hair you got on the head. She pissed me off. This kid is literally a nobody, bro. And he's like, Biden gotta immediately cut this man chicken nugget supply. I want to highlight this story again for anyone who is new to this channel. Activision know high profile streamers are cheating in tournaments. <laughs> They have always stated this, and they made this clear during the engine-owning lawsuit. According to a news outlet, Call of- Yo, don't you guys think that it's crazy that Call of Duty apparently said that, uh, Yay! We know who cheats! We know them! And these are like high-profile streamers, and guess what? We're, we're not gonna ban them. We're not gonna ban them. It's like, damn, they know, but, but, but still, they, they can't. I think they they got a lot of like these higher profile streamers uh, that they use to market the game, and I guess they they they've realized that if we ban all of them, then who's gonna market our game, right? You know what I'm saying? I think that's probably is one of the biggest factor because they they rely. I mean, listen, man, Call of Duty, Activision, they're a multi billion dollar company, right? But they still need like the media and I guess like these high profile streamers uh, to promote their games. I mean, without the streamers, they're gonna do just fine. But uh, but obviously, like it's kind of cheap to market the game. They can they can either spend like money on the ads or uh, spend money on flying all of these suckers out to the events, uh, put them put their ass in nice nice hotel, give them breakfast, give them lunch, give them uh, something to eat, uh, get, get them high on sugar, let them play Call of Duty early and stream it on their channel and make content on it, right? Like, and they reach all of their subs, uh, which are in the end 
uh, the customers of Call of Duty. So it's like a lot more cheaper and it's a lot more impactful. This is like creator, uh, influencer, influencer, influencer marketing, right? Bruh. I know it sounds kind of bad, but that's how apparently this mafia works, man. Duty devs know they are all cheating while making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Damn. Yo, can I really get two benches? So Everybody that smashes like uh, deserve to get two benches. Some time ago, the producer of Faze Swag offered me $5,000 for an in-person interview. But I had to respectfully decline, as it never ends well when I interview streamers. We just can't get past the first question. And I hate meeting streamers due to poor personal hygiene. I recently exposed the all-female league and provided evidence of them cheating. Not one of these females has attended a LAN event. This one was also caught inside the cheat discord, and according to Doug Sensor Martin, she had cheats on her computer. Dang it. However, what? What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, Doug, uh, he said like uh, Nadia had cheats. Did he like come out again from his bunker? When this channel and others expose it, nothing is done because she's female. Yeah. I'm strong, I'm independent, I need no man, and if you say anything about me, it's probably wrong, wrong, and you're just manipulating. I provided evidence of them downloading cheats by using a popular cheat website to download wall hacks to use at tournaments. Yeah. This one was also caught inside the cheat discord, and according to Doug Sensor Martin, she had cheats on her computer. But he said that for 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 Nadia. Oh my god. Oh shit. I guess it's safe to say that face sensor got censored. I guess that's what it is. And I play against this girl T. My opinion is that she cheats. I feel when I play against this girl Gotta that be she yours. cheats. You popped up in the database too. I don't know what to tell you. You are literally in the database on the actual website. So if you are not cheating, the only other explanation is that Vanguard launched with these cheats on your Activision ID. Someone either went into your house Went on your computer, downloaded these cheats behind your back, and launched Vanguard. What do you know? Holy shit, is this a breakthrough, dude? And then he got censored, right? Like, the censor PNG got censored, created. apparently. Today, it's like, yo, you'll get caught in 4K on these fing programs with your Activision accounts ID matching your account, and you're still gonna deny it. I've also explained why it should never, ever be taken seriously. Yeah? But you're a man and you're wrong! Yo, what are the odds that Call of Shame is like not a man and a female? Yo, if you're a female- It's just full of permanently banned females. However, recently they all have been playing in a quote-unquote, female-only, $25,000 <laughs> tournament. It was all fun and games until someone broke a nail. Permanently banned Warzone streamer 5x5 uh, was part was of the invited streamers taking part. She was permanently banned by Ricochet for cheating in Call of Duty during Modern yeah, yeah, yeah. Warfare 2. But my yeah, she was apparently shooting too straight. Wait for it. Account is gone forever. It's literally gone forever. There's nothing yeah. I can do. It's it's gone forever. But don't worry, I will make a new account because I'm strong. I'm independent. Get it back. It's perma banned. Strong. Perma banned for literally no reason. No reason. As long as I can still play Call of Duty, I'm okay with starting over. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm strong. I'm independent. Um, after my 40 bomb. And then yeah. after a couple- 40 bomb, bro. BOMBO CUT! 40 bomb, bro. What are we talking about? When was the last time you guys watching, right? When was the last time you got a 40 bomb in Call of Duty? Couple 30 bombs, I got shadow banned. Um... Impossible, bro. I guess people supported me, or I was shooting too straight. Shooting too straight? In some of those games. Um, and I got shadow banned. This was like a week ago? Whatever. Um, and then a couple days later, I saw my account was perma banned. I'm like, excuse me, they are yeah. not reversing it, no matter what. Yeah. So, I'm gonna make my a new one. Gone. Um, they were also telling me that. I'm gonna make a new one. I am gonna be strong. I'm gonna let them know that I can make a new account, and I'm gonna start cheating on that account too. But sometimes Ricochet will detect programs that aren't cheats but it it like doesn't the system doesn't like it or something the guy says that's whack bombo cut money i spent on that account wow that blows i'm sorry <laughs> What game? Okay, that gotta be one of the biggest simp ever. Guys, like, listen, man. Like, stop simping over female ca female streamers, bro. Stop simping, dog. You're not gonna get the pom-pom. She probably have a hubby. 
right? Or a BF that says, honey, I'm home. You know, I don't want to say what Gideon said, uh, but you can picture that. Bruh. But but like, still, okay, respectfully, respectfully, okay? Like, she's doing her thing, whether that's cheat, no cheat, accusations, cheat, whatever you want to say, right? Like, okay, that's you, right? Respectfully, she streams, she streams, okay? And you watching and you actually being down this bad, bro, that's kind of pathetic, though. She does cheat so in, in game. What are the odds she's not gonna t cheat on your dumbass? I know some of you are like, well, Skizzle, I got a BBC, man. I got a BBC or a BWC, maybe. Nah, bro, it don't matter. Once uh, once she cheats in a game, she's gonna cheat on your dumbass, regardless whether you have a BBC or not, bro. Yay! Yay! Perma banned. Maybe one of the files are corrupt or something like that. That maybe, like, came up weird from Ricochet? I don't know. I'm sure the hacker hunters are going to have a field day with this. Is this a joke? This was an Activision hosted tournament. No, don't tell me that she was back. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's old clip, right? This is 2024. Damn. Okay, if th that would be the biggest plot twist ever. What the hell are you doing allowing a permanently banned streamer to take part? Do you think Call oh, of Duty shit. and Activision care if streamers cheat? Of course not, because they have absolutely no backbone. She Yo, was also caught. Oh, this has more plot twist than a movie full of Johnny Sins. Dog. Playing in a seventy-five thousand dollar tournament, they recently sacked thirty percent of staff at Sledgehammer Games and instead used the money to fund the lifestyle for cheating Warzone streamers. Why are you still playing this game? I recently broke down Biffle's gameplay at the London LAN, and in doing so it showed the world just how bad these Warzone streamers actually played, away from their own setups. They played like actual bots and you would be forgiven if you thought they were connecting to Kenya, they were actually that bad. Yeah. Oh man. Like, why y'all sick is connecting to Kenya, man? Why y'all sick is connecting... Yeah, man, this is to bypass like skill-based management and light, right? Would you consider that cheating? You're an a. I, I mean, like any software hardware you attach that the general public don't have, I would consider that cheating. But but like uh, with skill-based management, I know like people have a different stance. I for me, like okay, if you reverse boost and you tell people that you reverse boost, uh, okay, yeah, I, I wouldn't call you a cheater. I would be like, yeah, you're just trying to manipulate the algorithm. That's trying to manipulate you, right? Okay, that's that understandable. With VPN. Yeah, that's different. VPN is different, though. I know some of you will have different opinion, and that's fair, that's fine, you can let me know in comments. Enemy players are literally jumping in front of Biffle. It was absolutely embarrassing to think these are supposed to be the best players in the world, or so we are told. Yeah, the reverse competition boost, level at this event was diabolical. Is this the World Series of Warzone Finals, or a bot lobby? What are you three Man. doing? However, FaZe Swag went crazy. He probably would have said it. He's the best gamer ever. And instantly came to the defense of streamers. However, of I think even Swag knew they were all absolutely awful, as he had no defense. Of course, of at course. At one point, we really got to see how bad Warzone streamers were. Take Yo, a look damn, at this. Yo, damn, you can actually see Swag face right now. He's like, uh, no, no way, no way, bro. This is pathetic, bro. This is pathetic. Even me swimming in water. You, you guys remember, Bruh. right? Like... Uh, face fish when he was uh when he stayed in water for nine minutes and didn't come on because he was paranoid <laughs> and so it was like yeah man swag you stay in water because your cheat's not working right your cheat's not working right Wh what you guys think do you think swag cheats yeah or nay? i think he tick tick ticks i don't think he does like hardcore uh, uh nest squeak let's just say i cannot say certain words on youtube but he tick tick ticks let's be real he tick tick ticks are we really watching the best players in the world yeah yes. floating in like absolute yes. bots while not? biffle picks them off gaining easy score during the multiplier stages. The World Series the of Warzone was a bot lobby. They were all terrible and it was utterly embarrassing for Call of Duty. Bruh. Bruh. Here is Mutex doing what he does best. Yes, sir. Crying like a little baby. These okay, I thought that he was gonna say crying like a little bee. <laughs> and I was getting paranoid, trust me, because we on YouTube and you cannot say that, you know? See? Streamers need to get into... Uh, thank you, Call of Shame. Let me show you some keys. The real world, no, instead no. of crying on stream, trying to gain sympathy for the poor choices they make. He they talk so cheating? much nonsense on stream and forget words have consequences. Mutex would throw anybody under the bus to get what he wants. That's nothing new among these Warzone streamers. I don't want you to feel sorry. I don't. 
I get it. I f oh. Damn. Okay, so he was dead ass caught cheating. Uh, is that why he's making an apology video, or was it for something else? But to say I'm lying about something, about my emotions, about me not actually caring about what I did, that's that's just wrong, dude. Oh guys click on this video on the screen and uh, this is one of those videos that if you watch you're probably gonna regret because the cheats that are shown in this video are just way too ahead of this uh, i feel like that we really in a simulation check this video out if you want to regret <laughs> and i'll see you right